All right, welcome back guys. Today we're gonna to be talking about a semi-lucid, a semi-lucid dream. This is layer two. So layer one is basically a non-lucid dream or a normal dream in which you're not aware you're dreaming. Nothing's really different other than, you know, you might remember it in the morning, you might not. A layer two lucid dream is where you're semi-lucid. So you're starting to become aware of the fact you're dreaming. You're starting to notice things are strange, but you might not be completely in control. Now this can feel like a number of different things. This can feel like you're aware of something strange, like you might you might be walking down the street and maybe you notice that somebody's holding a book about lucid dreaming and you think, oh, th that's what I've been learning recently. Maybe this is a dream. And then you carry on walking and then you might drift into a normal dream back into a layer one. It might also look like a few seconds of lucidity and then you slip back into layer one. So it might be like you're in a room, you're talking to people, something triggers you to become semi-lucid, something maybe someone says reminds you of the fact that you need to do a reality check, maybe you start to do a reality check but then you slip back to layer one. So it can really look like a variety of different situations but the important thing to remember is that what distinguishes a layer two from a layer one lucid dream is that in a layer two, even if it's only for a few seconds, you're aware that you're either dreaming or that something is slightly strange. It might not last for a long time but you'll have the feeling that something's not quite right. It won't be a normal dream. Now, the important distinction, the important distinction again between a layer one and a layer two lucid dream is that in a semi-lucid dream, in layer two, you're able to realize that you, you're dreaming or that something's not quite right, but you're not able to really control or guide yourself the way that you would in layer three lucid dream. So you might be walking down and you decide, okay, I'm gonna start flying. Maybe you realize you're lucid, maybe even you become semi-lucid, you realize that you're dreaming, but you can't really control what you're doing. You're just aware that it's a dream, and it might feel like you're sort of watching yourself do things as if you were in a film. So you're aware that you're watching the film or that you're dreaming, but you're not able to control what you're actually doing, what the dream character, you, is doing. And this is what makes it a semi-lucid dream or a layer two. Now, don't panic. If you're having a layer two dream, that is a really good step in the right direction. That is well, one step behind a normal lucid dream, right? Behind actually being able to control what you're doing and being aware of it. But there are some things you need to bear in mind. Like for example, if you're in a layer two, you can often get to a layer three by just doing a few things. And those things might include stabilization, they might include you know, doing more reality checks on, on the spot or doing some prolonging techniques, for example. But you can easily get to the next layer with not much effort. So if you've put in the hard work up to this point and you've got to a layer two, that's really good and you should be proud of yourself for that because it's a lot better than a layer one which most people have and often don't even remember so layer two let's just recap is where you're aware that you're dreaming even if it's only for a few seconds but you're not able to control what you're doing you're not really manipulating and guiding yourself in the way that you could in a layer three lucid dream another really important thing to bear in mind about layer two is that it's a very fragile state layer three we'll talk about in another video is different, that's a normal lucid dream, that's your first experience of lucidity. Layer two, however, is very fragile and delicate and if you become lucid, obviously you won't be able to control what you're doing or what anything else is doing, but you might easily lose lucidity just if something distracts you. So you might be walking down the road, you're not able to decide where you walk, you're just aware that you're walking and that it's a dream, right? But then you might lose that awareness if something engaging or exciting or intense happens like if some for example if a lion walks down the road you might instantly look at the lion and think oh wow okay that's scary why is that lion here and then you'll get caught up in where you're going and you'll lose lucidity and it'll just become a layer one lucid dream so layer two and layer one are very similar they're very close together and it's very easy to slip from layer two back to lucid, uh, back to layer one so bear that in mind but also bear in mind that layer two is very close to being layer three you just need to put a bit more work in do a few more reality checks prolong the lucid dream a bit more, meditate and just sort of build your awareness to the point where it will be a stable lucid dream, which is layer three, which we'll talk about in the next video.